Hi, I'm Brian from Atomic Motor and I'm here to do a review of the Bell MX-9 Adventure with MIPS. Now this is an update to the existing MX-9 Adventure, which we have a video for on our YouTube page and on our website. But there's some cool technology on it we thought we'd give you a quick update. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics of the MX-9 Adventure MIPS. First of all, it retails for $209.95 as of the filming of this video for solid colors, $219.95 for graphics. It comes in sizes extra small through 2XL. And it comes in an ever-increasing number of colors. Currently, it's, it's four, but it looks like it's going to go to seven pretty soon. The helmet weighs 3.9 pounds on our bomber scale, and if it's generally true to size, there is a little bit less volume in the upper part of the crown than the previous uh, Bell MX-9 Adventure. Just a tiny bit, and that's probably due to the MIP system. It takes up a little bit of that space. However, uh, it still fits true to size. It still has a long oval fit, which we think is very good. And uh, incidentally, Bell's sizing chart, the measurements that they have on their sizing chart are very accurate, and we recommend that you use it. Now, it has a good long list of features. Uh, first and foremost is it has a tremendously large eye port opening and a big projection to the front of the the chin bar. That's really good. It tips the helmet a little bit more to the adventure, excuse me, a little bit more to the dual sport side of the adventure dual sport coin. We feel that this helmet is a little bit more off-road oriented. Uh, it has a really good ventilation system. There is an active vent here in front in the chin bar. And then there are plenty of passive vents and big deep channeling up through the top of the helmet. Now this helmet, with the combination of the venting system and the very large eye port opening, vents very well. As good as some off-road helmets and better than just about most all adventure touring oriented helmets. Uh, the large eye port opening is something that I want to touch upon again. This helmet in particular is good for off-road use because it will very easily accept a pair of goggles. Put these 100% in here and um, get them all lined up. Take me just a minute. And you can see it very easily accepts the pair of goggles and you can easily close this. I have to pull this down here on both sides. But you can very easily get them under there and close the shield. That's a nice feature. Speaking to the shield, there are multiple tints of shields available. Uh, yellow, smoke, uh, dark smoke, some mirror tints. That's a nice feature. It also comes with uh, side pods that allow you to remove this upper visor and use it as a street helmet, but really once again this helmet is aimed much much more at the dirt side of things. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the build quality before I get into the, the most important characteristic of it. Now this helmet is uh, really one of the better off-road oriented dual sport helmets in the category. It is uh, much nicer in our opinion than the Fly uh, Trekker, the um, MSR Explorer, uh, the AFX FX39, FX41. This helmet is a really nice build quality. Kudos to Bell for that. Uh, the fit and feel of it is also quite good on the bike. Mo much of the detail that I'm covering here you can actually see in our original MX-9 adventure video. Uh, but the big difference here is this. The MIPS version of the MX-9 Adventure has, pull this liner out, a rotational energy absorbing technology system inside. Now, that is something that you're hearing more and more about. Helmet manufacturers, helmet designers have been increasingly focused on developing helmets that are good not just for impacts, but for impacts that are more common when you're actually riding, which have glancing blows. When that occurs, there is often an extra transfer of force inside of the helmet to your head because the liner can't really move. It's fixed inside the helmet. So helmet manufacturers are looking for ways to make the liner a little bit more flexible and to give it some uh, rotational give, so to speak. Now, you've seen that in the, uh, in the 6D helmet, which has dual layers of EPS with elastomers in between. The Bell Moto 9 Flex is an outstanding system, really cool, that has uh, three different layers of EPS. MIPS is a little bit different. What MIPS does is puts that rotational technology in between the EPS liner and the comfort liner. It essentially is this extra yellow layer, we'll get a drop in shot of this here, but this extra yellow layer that allows this inner comfort liner to rotate and move. I'm going to try and make it so that you can see that. 
there's some flex and some give to this. Now it's really not as technical as 6D's system or Bell's own uh, Moto 9 flex version, but this is a good, more cost-effective way of addressing rotational impact needs in a helmet. And um, it's really awesome that we're seeing it at the 199 price point. Uh, Bell is actually using this technology in a couple of other models that are helmets. In fact, the company that invented it, MIPS, if I'm not incorrect, is from Switzerland. They've licensed it to many different manufacturers, both in the, in the motorsports and in the um, cycling industry. It's a pretty cool, pretty proven uh, system. It works quite well. Uh, as to how the MX-9 Adventure MIPS performs on the bike, pretty much the same as the MX-9 Adventure. Uh, this helmet, as I said earlier, is definitely aimed to the more off-road side, to the dual sport side of the Adventure dual sport coin. Remember, we separate that uh, those two segments uh, generally loosely at 650 cc's and up, 650 cc's and down. This is aimed at the 650 cc and down, uh, more off-road oriented crowd. Why? Simple. This helmet behaves like an off-road helmet on the motorcycle. It's got a lot of venting, a big eye port opening, it accepts goggles really well, it just has that off-road helmet feel, but it gives you a shield, and in this case it also gives you some cool uh, inside technology. Uh, that's really the, the complete story in the MX-9 Adventure MIPS. Uh, we've been quite successful, we've done quite well with the MX-9 Adventure, both uh, with our customers and ourselves like the helmet quite a bit. I anticipate that this one is going to pick up the slack where, where that one has left because it's now gone away and, um, and run with that ball and do a really good job. So that's our review of the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS. This thing's a winner. We think you should check it out. And remember, we are Atomic Moto, www.atomic-moto.com, home of the bombers. We are mission focused on getting you the right gear for you, your bike, your type of riding. We have great customer service, fast free shipping, and easy returns. And we are Moto guys, and uh, we really know our stuff. And we think you should check us out. Thanks, and hope to see you out on the bike.